Happy sunshine, boys and girls. Welcome back. It's 2.30 p.m. August 24th, 2017, Pacific Time. We've got, uh, we've got some updates. Uh, somebody sent me an email. Looks like uh, there's been a release of four, four or six people in this Bundy trial in Nevada. And what, a, what an interesting observation that we have. We hope that Heather and Randy are next. As you recall, Heather was locked up on a bogus warrant signed by a deputy clerk rather than a U.S. magistrate judge, A. Brush. We don't even know if A. Brush is a deputy clerk yet. And we can also see that they're trying to brush off uh, Randy as well. <laughs> and, and look at the arresting officer for Randy, Amanda Shields. <laughs> I mean, is Randy, is he a man to shield? Is that how they brush him off? God, the, the play on words with the names and stuff that are popping up through this case are... Uh, I, I've never seen anything like it. Amanda Shields. Wow. Whoop. Okay. So we got some release in the Bundays. Whole experience over there. And we've got a little bit of update coming in Heather's case. Uh, just three sentences. She did not call in this morning. She's on the move to her next quote-unquote hotel. When BZ has updates, she'll let everyone know. So I just want to gather all my intent, my positive energy, and focus this uh, to wherever in the world Hat J is, to wherever uh, she's going to wind up next. Hopefully it's Tennessee. She's been to Virginia, Oklahoma, and Georgia so far on her way to Tennessee. We know they're dieseling her, and uh, we just hope that the types of developments that are happening in the Bundy trial end up happening over here for Randy and for Heather Ann Tucci. So that's my only Hat J update for today. Uh, it, you guys are really trying to help me a lot. Thank you for all the emails and all the links and all the digging. Uh, wow, we can't find Neil Wolf's video. People remember it. It's gone. Uh, I think it's time to start sending some emails to Neil. Uh, reach out to him. Ask him if he'll repost that. Did he take that down? What's going on with that? Uh, let's see if we can get some answers in that direction. Um, you know, something that may not seem totally related to the Heather Ann Tucci case right now, uh, but I'm going to pull this in here and talk about it because we know there's a lot of deception and a lot of lying that's going on by the government. I mean, hell, look, they're, they're serving fraudulent warrants. Um, so it's, it's really no stretch in my head to think that, wow, the, the scientific establishment facet of the government is deceiving us as well. If you haven't seen my work on forensically analyzing the photographs that I took during the eclipse, I put these photographs out on Dropbox. Uh, you can go and download the raw file from my camera. And you can repeat all of this stuff yourself. Changing the levels, changing the color curves is only changing the way that we take all of the data about the different intensities and brightnesses of all these little points of light, these individual pixels. And instead of having a smooth shading of sun colored material, we can assign other colors to that. But all of the underlying data, it, this was captured by my camera. There is no opaque body extending out off the end of the moon. 
or off the end of the sun, you know, up here or over here. That there's no texture patterns at all that pop up anywhere out here. Uh, just, wow. I, I don't know how to explain my findings here, but uh, <laughs> all these people that are telling me that the moon is what causes the eclipse, well, show me the moon. I mean, go to that Dropbox, get my raw images, and you adjust the color curves and levels and find the moon. Show me the moony. We're missing the moon. We're missing Heather Ann Tucci. The government, I feel, is hiding both of them. I don't know how they're hiding the moon, but wow, we've got, we got big issues, guys. Our system doesn't work the way they've told us. Our system brushes people off with fake warrants. Our system apparently has a totally different unexplained mechanism for how eclipse, eclipses happen. I mean, we need to self-author our own perceptions here, people, if we're gonna, if we're gonna even find the path that we have to walk to get out of this mess. I don't know what's going on here with this eclipse. But I can tell you what's not going on. There's no opaque body that's crossing the moon. There's no valid warrant. The cases in Tennessee and Heather's getting shipped around to Virginia, Oklahoma, Georgia. We'll see where the next stop is. It, do you see the pattern here, guys? Deception everywhere. The only one that can see through it is you with your eyes. You have to define what all of these observations mean to you. All right. If you have any love lighter links in any of these matters that I talk about on my channel, send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E at protonmail.com. Hold a high vibration, focus on the positive outcome, and we'll see you next time. I love you lots. Bye-bye.